Hey guys, and welcome back to Ellie Knows Rocks. Today, I am standing at the beautiful Burrow Creek in Arizona. This is one of my absolute favorite swimming holes. Many reasons why, but one of them is there's water here all year round. Whenever I come down here, middle of summer, end of fall, there's always water here, which makes it absolutely fantastic. But another really cool factor is the geology behind me. Over there, you can see all of the outcropping of pyroclastic flows, which are amazing. And then up above that, in the more of the red, is the rhyolitic flow that happened. And then above that is a huge flow of basalt, otherwise known as a mesa here in Arizona. They're absolutely fantastic. And this whole area was cut by this stream at one point in time. And I love coming down here to swim. In the water, there's a bunch of these little tiny fish that love to come up to you and just like try to eat your skin and stuff. It's kind of cool. There's wildlife around here. There's some cattle that free range. There's also some really cool birds. There's rattlesnakes, there's squirrels. There's all kinds of lizards and stuff. And some of them you see sometimes, some of them you don't. So we're gonna get in the water and we're gonna take a swim. We're gonna talk about the geology and we're gonna go see what we find. So thank you so much for being part of this adventure. And let's go. Burrow Creek is often frequented by snowbirds and campers during the winter months in Arizona. However, the true Arizona water dogs come down here during the summer to enjoy the beautiful creek. The water's always flowing and it's always cool. There's several nice hiking trails around the creek that show you a lot of different of the cacti vegetation in the area, as well as minerals. We are going to go swimming here today and we're going to talk a little bit about the geology. So let's go see what we find. Here is our first critter, a cow. <laughs> you find these a lot down here at Burrow Creek. But look at the reflection in the water. Isn't that awesome? And those beautiful, beautiful layered bands of rock. These rocks have a very strong solidification in order to have been cut by the water and still standing. Even though highly fractured the basalt is, it's still a great place for critters to make their nests and to make a home in. You get these big cranes that nest in the rocks. And they have huge, huge nests. There's like tons of little fish and everything. Come on, baby, get in the water. This is actually the last swim I got to take before going on my big adventure out of the country. So I am missing the water right now. And the heat, very much so. Now don't get me wrong when I'm talking about this area. It might be lovely and awesome and close to me, but it is extremely remote. It's about two and a half hours outside of Phoenix, Arizona. And that's when you're coming from the outskirts of Phoenix, Arizona around like the surprise area. But when we come out here, we rarely see too many people, if any at all. You do see a lot of wildlife and cows and things like that, like we saw earlier, but Never too many humans. I find this area to be quite relaxing and the water is always pretty cool. The water gets a little bit deeper as you go towards the rocks, but for the most part, it's pretty shallow. 
You can see us walking around and how shallow it is for us. And of course, one of these things that make this area really spectacular to me is the geology. The layers of volcanic geology are really special for this creek, and I haven't seen too many areas in Arizona like this one. You have great layers of pyroclastic flow. That's the gray layer that's closest to the water. It weathers out some of the rocks and creates little caverns that look like caves. It's kind of neat. And then the layer above that is red rhyolite. It's another volcanic flow, and it's solidified quite hard on top of the pyroclastic flow. And then it's all capped by the black basalt. The basalt in this area was used by Native Americans to make monos and matats. And if you're really lucky, sometimes you could find arrowheads made out of it. Burrow Creek is especially awesome for rock hounds. There's a lot of pestilite, chalcedony, some jasper. Sometimes you can find some Apache tears. And then of course there's really cool metamorphic rock that's been pushed down the river from the monsoon. These are some of the minerals that can be found here at Burrow Creek. Banded agatized jasper, sugar texture pestilite, and multicolored jasper agate and pestilite. They've weathered out of the pyroclastic flow layer. Now on this particular day, we heard something kind of weird. It sounded like a bunch of bees that were stuck in a tree, but it wasn't. It was a rattlesnake and it was being harassed by a squirrel. I didn't have my phone because it was on the other side of the creek and by the time I would have gotten there and gotten back, it would have already been gone. However, it was interesting to see the squirrel harassing the rattlesnake, but thank goodness he rattled, otherwise that squirrel might have been lunch. Even though I didn't capture the picture of a rattlesnake this time, this is the rattlesnake I found here last time. Younger little guy, pretty cute, didn't want to rattle at all. He just wanted to sit there and pose and stick his tongue out. I left him alone and told him how cute he was, and that was it. If they're not bothering you, don't bother them. Check out this little yellow bird. He's absolutely adorable. The wildlife down here is kind of crazy sometimes, but it's really cool that we get to see so much in such a small area. Hey, the other one talking back to it, that's so cute. It's really cool he's up there. Talking, he's talking to his mate or maybe calling another one. Oh, there he goes. He keeps moving around so that he can get even higher. He's way up there now. That is so adorable. Now, I love the little yellow bird, but these little fishies that love to eat your skin can be both really cool and quite of a pest. The fishies are pretty cute, but one thing to watch that's really cool are the mating dragonflies. They'll fly all around you, land on you, land on the plants, land on each other, like freak out in a fit. It's hilarious to watch. Although I know this has nothing to do with geology, I hope you guys can appreciate the outdoorsiness of it because it is a really awesome area that's very special because of so many things that are around it. Even though there's the birds, the cows, the dragonflies, the big cranes that nest in the rocks, there are more rattlesnakes here than I have seen anywhere else in Arizona. I always see one every time I come down to Burrow Creek. The oil in the water is from my tanning lotion. And if it's not a snake, it's a lizard. There are tons of lizards. Every shape, size, color, and speed, they're down here.
There's a beautiful little stairway. Makes it very nice and easy to get up and down from the parking lot area. There's also a restroom and this whole area you can camp in. Most people, of course, during the summertime don't camp here only because it is really hot and there's not water or um, electrical hookups for camping, but there is a restroom and of course the swimming. There are picnic tables and whatnot, which make it convenient. Now this is while most of you are probably watching this for the Burrow Creek Bridge. It's actually the eighth tallest bridge in Arizona. It's 388 feet tall and spanning over 700 feet. Built in 2005, the bridge joins a gap of two mesas that was cut by Burrow Creek, right where we were swimming. These mesas and rock layers were formed by a lot of different volcanic activity back in the Pleistocene. Each layer that you see from the pyoclastic flow to the rhyolite to the basalt was a different volcanic episode layering on top of each other hundreds of thousands of years ago to make what we see today. And it's because of these awesome layers that we get those really cool minerals that we find here. During the Laramide orogeny, silica was pushed up from deep in the crust to create the jasper, the pestilite, and the agate that we find here. These minerals precipitated into the vugs and weathered out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. And I'm sorry the quality isn't what you're used to. I am working on a remote computer because I'm far away. Thank you all so much for your support.